Hi, so here's another one of my uh, Batman reviews. Um, this is for the DC Comics Chess Collection. Um, but they're all of uh, all of the uh, figures are actually from uh, Batman, rather than DC Comics as a whole. Uh, DC Comics released a series of statues, which were pretty much exactly the same, but they were not chess pieces. They all looked very similar to this, and they had a base with DC written on it. And then underneath, they still had these stickers with the name and a small code. But as I say, these are the Batman uh, chess collection from DC. Okay, so let's have a look at Batman. Now, I believe, I'm not sure, please comment and let me know. Um, I believe that these are actually exactly the same size as the DC uh, Comics statue collection, the mini statues. I'm not sure, but I think this is exactly the same uh, sculpt. But it is a very, very nice sculpt. It is absolutely fantastic. I really like this. Uh, I think it was about £2 because it was a introductory offer for the first issue and then every one after that has been eight pounds I believe these come out every fortnight uh, it's on uh, issue 11 I think now uh, but I've only managed to get two of them because they are quite popular uh, okay so it's very very detailed the, there's the, the bat signal there on its chest uh, there's the utility belt, which is detailed all the way around, although the cape is in the way. Even the coat, uh, the cape, sorry, is a, a mould itself. Um, it is not plastic, it is exactly the same uh, uh, material as the body and the head. But yeah, that, that is very, very nice. The one thing I'm not sure about is the face. Yeah, yeah that's not a great face. Uh, yeah, that needs work. And uh, quality control on mine, there's no paint on that ear, which is a bit of a letdown, but, uh, you know, that's something that you can fill in yourself. And then, of course, if you look on the bottom, it's got his name, Batman, and then this here, which is his little code, so it's approved by DC. Uh, this is a chess set piece, so, but I think that that works quite nicely, The the whole... Figurehead thing is standing on there. It's very, very nice. And for £2, it was definitely worth the uh, price. I'll uh, go through the books in a minute. Okay, so this is uh, Commissioner Jim Gordon. And once again, this is a lovely sculpt. It is really, really nice. I don't know if they're in a mould or what, but they are. I think they're cold cast uh, from metallic resin. And they're hand-painted. Which, you can tell that it's been hand-painted slightly, because there are obviously the errors. But, uh, yeah, it's very nice. I mean, he's got the glasses that have obviously been done separately. Um, and the tie as well, that's very clever. The gun, I'm not so sure about that. That's clever, but I don't know. And then, of course, he's got that on the, the base as well. But, yeah, they are. Sorry, it's right. Highly collectible figures, they are. Uh, price at seven ninety nine each. You know you can sort of tell that they're going to be popular. Uh, I think they'll probably just be, be as popular as the statues and uh, the normal statues from before, which I'm quite proud to say that. Okay, so th these are the books. The, the books are actually quite nice. Um, I don't know if they're really needed uh, with the figure, but I suppose it's so you're getting more for your money. But inside there's a picture of the figure and um, there's where it goes on the chessboard and then it's got little background information about each character which is very cool. This is actually the list of all the different figures that you can uh, buy. It's just a small selection there. Okay, so let's take a look. Sorry, let's just turn this round. Okay, so there's Batman. He was first. There's the uh, Robin. There's Black Canary. There's Red Robin, which that's a very, very nice figure. Commissioner Gordon. Red Hood. 
the Joker. He came out second. He was very, very good. But I'm not, he sold so quickly, it was uh, mad. Two Face, the Riddler, Rachel Ghoul or Raz Al Ghoul, whichever uh, you want to say. Black Mask. He's a he's a nice figure, but he's very plain. The Penguin. I, I like that. Hush. Hush. He's probably my favourite villain. Um, him and the Riddler. I I really do like those, which is nice. And then it just sort of goes through all the places on the board. So, but yeah, there's lots of information in there, and there's lots of figures to collect. So, but at eight pounds each, you know, is it really worth paying that much money each time for for the ones that you don't really want? Uh, which that's my opinion, I suppose. So, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, please check out some of my other reviews. Uh, I'll also be doing game tests in a way, uh, showing uh, different games and how. How they are different uh, to some of my favourite games. Uh, first I'll be looking at Assassin's Creed Revelations and Batman Arkham City. Thank you very much.